1992, I got an opportunity to come to Dubai to launch a product for a client uh, I was looking after in an advertising agency in London. And I came not knowing anything and I was blown away by the entrepreneurial spirit, by the opportunities, by the chance of perhaps coming out here and owning my own business. And so I did. I came out in 1993 and started a training company. I knew nothing about training, but I had a passion for learning, a passion for helping people be better at their jobs. And that was really the start of a 25-year journey with both learning and Biz Group. The toughest challenge probably was back in those days where there was a challenge of belief. Actually, I had the belief, but everybody around me doubted my capability. Um, and they probably had a fair point. I was naive. I didn't really know what I was doing. I was coming to a foreign country. And I remember this um, acronym, S-N-I-O-P, and it stood for being susceptible to the negative influences of other people. And I really hung on to that acronym for the early stages of my business building, reminding myself not to get in the trap of listening to negative people. I was actually inspired by Richard Branson. Um, I didn't have a great uh, finish to my schooling and education and I remember reading his book and watching a couple of interviews on TV and realizing that he too was dyslexic and he started a business with not an awful lot of knowledge about what he was doing and I was really inspired to be a, a leader to be an entrepreneur by Richard Branson. Three pieces of advice. Be curious. The world is changing. Learning and development is changing really fast. It can be daunting. It can be overwhelming. Just get curious about what's happening around us. Number two, I would suggest build yourself a network of people that are thinking about the future. Um, reach out to friends and colleagues in other organizations, come to a Biz Trends breakfast. Um, surround yourself by people who are looking to the future and, and that will help your curiosity. And third, be passionate about learning and development. Stay passionate. If this industry requires passion um, and your desire to transfer knowledge to other people. So those would be my three pieces of advice. The proudest moment would be the contrast from our first office, which was in a watchman's room in a building in Karama, to Biz HQ right now and the look on people's faces when they first walk into our offices. And I just feel super proud of the team that's enabled us to get from that two meter by two meter square room to the offices that we're in now. Mm -hmm.